Today, the team at Bob Moore Construction will guide you through the process behind wet shaft piers, also known as slurry piers. When standard drilling techniques fail due to collapsing shafts and the presence of groundwater, temporary casing may be unable to create a proper seal. When this happens, an alternate method called wet shaft drilling may be the fastest and most economical option. First, a telescoping drill shaft breaks ground on the pier location with a bullet-toothed auger bit and begins moving dirt. Next, crews add the slurry compound, typically using minerals, polymer, or plain water, depending on soil conditions, in order to stabilize the integrity of the shaft walls. While the slurry compound is being added, crews continue to drill down the shaft, removing dirt and excess slurry until the base level has been reached. This is a messy process and can present hazards to the job site and requires the utmost care by the construction crews. After the base has been reached, a rebar cage is placed in the shaft to strengthen the concrete pier. Finally, concrete is pumped into the bottom of the shaft with a tremi, while any remaining slurry is simultaneously pumped out until the shaft is completely filled with concrete, concluding the wet shaft process. <laughs>